Welcome to week four of Praises and Paper Folding. Due to technical difficulties, we don't have a pretty background today, but we're going to just go on. That's not the important part. We're going to be making a dog today, and uh, just come on in and join us. Praises and Paper Folding is a 16-week video series where we will be learning origami while creating Noah's Ark. Working with many people, we are going to fold Noah, 12 animals, the ark, and at the very end we want to bring everybody together who's been folding with us to create a humongous rainbow. After that, we're going to ask everybody who has completed a Noah's ark at home to bring it to the church to display for everyone to enjoy. Well, hello, we're here today with Miss Emma Zane. Hi. And uh, she happens to be an animal lover, I've discovered. What would you like to be when you grow up? Vet. A vet. What led you to wanting to be a vet? Uh, I don't know, I just like animals. You just like animals. Well, that's okay. So this is really, this will work for you, won't it? Yeah. For sure. And uh, today we're going to be making a dog. And here's our little dog right here. And I've talked to you in the past about how you can decorate your papers before you start. So with this one, I took it and I just did little black and gray circles on it so he looks like a curly black dog, maybe a poodle or something. And then I did just some lines on this one. We have another one over here that has polka dots on it, or spots, I guess, spots. Or patches. Right, spots or patches. And of course you can use your crayons or anything else. Something you might want to do, and it's perfectly acceptable is don't color them at all and just have a completely white Noah's Ark. That could be a really neat thing. I just want you to be really creative and have fun with it. One. We're ready to start folding. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. I got to put on my glasses because my eyes aren't that good. <laughs> so we're going to take our paper and we are going to go ahead and turn it over to the back side of the page. I'm going to move this little friend over here so that he's not in the way. And we're going to start like we did uh, this past week, making two valley folds. So we're going to fold this corner to this corner. We'll open that up, and then we'll fold this corner to this corner. And so we'll end up with two valley folds, and it will look like four triangles that meet in the middle. So we fold it in half once, open it up, turn it, Fold in half again. Okay, I'll really press down on that and make a nice. And there are four triangles. How are you doing, Emma? It keeps moving. <laughs> it keeps moving. <laughs> you got it. All right, good deal. Now, uh, now we're going to change from what we did last week. And what we're going to do, and I do have my pen here with me to kind of help. Right in the middle is this, this spot. I'm sure you can see it. Yeah. You're welcome to do that if you want to. What we're going to do is take each of our four corners and fold them into that center where that dot is. So we're going to go one, two, Anybody watching this who has been through elementary school knows that this looks like the beginning of a cootie catcher. Have you ever made a cootie catcher? No. I used to watch my friends have. Oh, okay. We used to call them, I think we called them fortune tellers when I was yeah. a kid. We didn't call them cootie catchers, but that's sort of the beginning of it. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to take it's going to be the left side of our paper, and so I'm going to turn it, I'm going to open this right here. This is my left. If you're watching this, it'll be on the right, so I'm going to turn it around for you to see. It's the left side of your paper. You keep yours the way it is. Like this. Yes, exactly. Okay. Perfect. All right. Now, before we go on, I want to ask you an important question. Okay. Do you have any pets? Yeah. What do you have? Okay, I have two dogs. Okay. That's it. That's it. <laughs> what are their names? Hank and Charlie. Hank and Charlie. Yes. Those are good dog names. <laughs> what kind of dogs are they? I have a Lhasa Apso and a Springer Spaniel. And which one is which? 
So Charlie is the Springer Spaniel and Hank is the Lost Ops. Very nice. Hank sounds like a cow dog to me. Like he should be out, you know, helping round up the cattle. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not so much, huh? No? No, he sounds like one. I agree. Yeah. My na dad named him something weird, but I forgot what it is. She remembers. <laughs> Mom like Sir Hank or Hankerton or something. <laughs> it's on, they have those paper things and uh -huh. it, it's on it. It's actually on it's there. It's his name, it says like Sir Hank or Hankerton or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Do you have like pet names picked out when somebody, maybe get another pet, things you might want to call him? Mm. No, just Hank and Charlie. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Alrighty then, we're going to go on to our next uh, major fold here. Okay. And so we have our left side hanging out. You've got yours out, mine's out. And what we're going to do is we're going to, you're going to take the top, for me it'll be the bottom. You're going to take the top and just fold it down, right on that middle line. So it looks like... This? Like just fold it in half? Yep, just okay. fold it in half. You got it. Okay. Now. This is another one of those sort of imprecise things that um, can kind of throw you. This is a little bit of a difficult one. So I'm going to use my pen to show you where we're going to fold. And I need to turn it this way to see it. Um, there is, if you were to look at this carefully, you have a fold right here. And you have another fold right here. So you kind of have these two squares and then a triangle. I'm going to lift that up for you to see that. Two squares and a triangle. If you're looking at it right side up, there you go. A triangle and two squares. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to kind of, and you don't have to draw this. You're welcome to draw it if you want. We're going to kind of make a, a diagonal line that starts sort of at the bottom middle of this square and ends at the top middle of this square. So it's going to go diagonal through there and I'm just going to kind of do this to guide me. And I'm going to show everybody at home what that looks like, give you a chance to see that, give you a moment to look. Okay. Then we're going to take and we're going to make a valley fold on this line right here. We're going to take the whole thing and Try to keep it together and valley fold it. If you're having a hard time finding it, it is perfectly okay and I'm going to do that. I'm going to fold on this side first so I can see where the fold is and then I'm going to turn it back this way and fold right on that line. Okay. Okay, now this is going to be the trickiest fold. Okay. Good job. So you're going to have yours turn it Go ahead and turn it and turn it right about, let's see here. I guess I have it sitting down. Okay, this way. Sorry, we're a little confused between the camera angle and our angle here. <laughs> so have this open. If you okay. notice, we kind of have like a diamond shape right here. Do you have your diamond yeah. shape? And then we see a rectangle over here. So we want the, the diamond shape facing away from us. And we get to do a squash fold, which I think is a lot of fun. First off, I like the word squash. Or squash. So we're going to open this up and we're going to take this point and we're going to match it to this point here. And you might have to get your hands in there and, and get the paper going. And if it wants to be cranky, you can just stick your finger in and push it. And you end up with, it doesn't quite come down to the edge here. I'm going to show you this. If you look carefully, there's the bottom here, and this is up here just a little bit. But that's okay. We have nice points here, 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 and here. And it looks like that. How'd you do? That's pretty good. Yeah, we can work a little bit on that. And so what I'm thinking, though, is this is kind of... this. This bit right here, that folds yeah. a little bit challenging, isn't it? Yeah. So, speaking of challenges, what do you think was the most challenging thing about being on the ark? Do you mean like during the whole flood scene? Mm -hmm. It's probably feeding the animals yeah. or getting them on the boat. The, the, the. I suppose, yeah. Feeding the animals would be... Because there's so much of It'd be just a constant chore all day long, I would think. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. 
Good answer, really good answer. All right, well, we made it through our most challenging fold, yeah. and you did a stellar job, way better than I did, because I made a bunch of dogs to practice, and you did way better than me, so. Thank you. Fun, good job. Now we get to do something kind of fun. This will be a little bit easier. So I'm gonna show everybody here. So we have this, and you can see this is gonna end up being the head, right? Okay. Yeah. And so we wanna put a cute little nose here. So we're gonna take this bottom bit, okay. and we're going to fold it back somewhat and then we're going to fold it down not all the way back down so you can we just did a pleat fold so I'm going to show you here see we fold it up and then back down with that little bit right there so it doesn't go all the way down to here it's just a little bit so like this you got it good and now we're going to make his ears and that's really simple we're just going to take this top fold right here and we're just going to fold it in a little bit. You can kind of make your decision as to where it goes but you start at the top of the head and just kind of fold that ear down and fold this ear down. So he has little matching ears. He's beginning to look really cute. Yes. I think he looks really cute and we don't even have our decorations on him yet. We're going to we're gonna take him in and decorate him. Nice! Yes! That's funny how that came, the color came right across his face right there. He's got a brown face. Yeah. Of course, I'm calling him a he. Is, is your dog going to be a he or a she? He. A he. Okay. I Named Hank? Boy dogs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, we've gotten that. So, we're talking about Noah's Ark. We're talking about yeah. all these animals. And I was wondering, what are some things that God created in nature that you just really enjoy? Elephants. Elephants. <laughs> <laughs> so there's some of your favorite animals? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have that video up for you to make an elephant tomorrow. Yeah. So that's pretty exciting. It's a cute yeah. elephant. What is it that you like about elephants? I like how big they are. Yeah? Yeah. And how they look so happy all the time. Yeah. I like baby elephants a lot. Oh, they're cute. Yeah. When you're playing. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. Baby elephants. I like it. All right. Okay, we're almost done with our dog. What we need to do is he kind of needs, um, we're going to kind of make, I don't know, legs or a bottom or something, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to use my brown pen because I've got kind of a brown dog. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of take a line we have I'm going to show you here's this back end that's just square, right? So just hold up this, like this. Yeah. Right, yeah. So here's the back end that's square. We're going to go from the top. Is that right? No, we're not going from the top. I'm sorry. From the right here. So along this edge, we've got this little face over here. And we've, we're going to come down here. And we're just going to draw a little, I'm going to draw a line. You do not need to draw a line, but you can. And I'm just kind of making a guideline for me to follow. And I like that you're being precise and careful with that. With this? That will work. What we're going to do is we have, we have two sides of the paper here, and we're going to fold each of them in. So we're going to fold along that line here and fold it in. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to, it's kind of hard to match it together. Take your time. That turned out pretty good. Because when we do that, when we fold that in, he can sit on that fold. Let's see what you got. Yes! Oh, isn't he cute? He's okay. Cute. Now, we are going to, you can use your black or your brown, or you can use whatever color you want, but we're going to color his little nose. And I did notice when I did this earlier today, I kind of got some black underneath. You see how I did that? So you might want to be careful about doing that. I'm going to color his nose black, and Emma's going to color her nose, her puppy dog. I think, because I have a brown, I wonder if I could, I'm going to cheat a little bit. Is this cheating if you kind of think of it this way? No. There we go. That doesn't Well, should I? <laughs> there we go. A little black nose and then I can let it dry a moment so I don't get black all over my fingers. 
and put that down, it's still drying. Then I'm going to put my, my eyes. You know what I like is when puppy dogs give you those big round eyes and they look so sad, like, if you don't feed me some of your steak, I'm going to be so sad. Okay. There is my puppy dog. There we go. My puppy dog's gonna be a girl puppy dog and I'm gonna name her Sadie. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. There we go. Nice, let's put our puppy dogs together. We'll have three puppy dogs here. Okay. There we go. All right. Well done, you followed those directions so well and did much better on work on me than I did at your age. So, I would like to, uh oh. <laughs> Stay up. Stand up. Stay, Hank. Stay awake. <laughs> Emma, I want to thank you for joining me today. Thank you. It's been a lot of fun working with you. You too. Have a good evening and we'll talk to you sometime later. Okay. okay.